Today, we're going to look at how to shut down or restart the computer using the keyboard in Windows 10. Before we get started, I'm going to turn on Windows Magnifier using Windows Plus. If you want to learn more about Windows Magnifier, we have a video on it. I'll put a link in the description below. I'm going to hold the Windows key and tap the plus. Next, we're going to turn on NVDA. If you want to learn more about NVDA, we have a video on that as well. I'll put a link in the video description below. To turn on NVDA, I'm going to hold down the Control and Alt key and tap the letter N. Taskbar. Now that we have our screen magnified and our screen reader up and running, let's look at some ways to shut down or restart the computer using the keyboard. One method we can use to shut down or restart the computer is by using Alt F4. Alt F4 is the keyboard command for closing a program or closing a window. We can also use it to shut down or restart the Windows operating system. First, we'd need to put our focus onto the desktop. To do that, I'm going to use Windows D. Folder view list, VLC media player 11 of 11. Now that we're focused on the desktop, I'm going to hold the Alt key and tap the F4 in the top row. Shut down Windows dialog closes all apps and turns off the PC. What do you want the computer to do? Combo box shut down collapsed Alt plus W. So we have the shutdown Windows dialog box open. The first place it puts us is into a combo box. And the first selection in that combo box is shut down. If I want to shut down the computer, I can either tab down to the OK button and press the space bar to activate it. Or I can press the enter key because in this dialog box, the OK button is our default button. Visually, I can tell that the OK button is the default because it has a darker outline than the Cancel or the Help buttons. If you're using JAWS or Fusion, you can check what the default button is using Insert E as an echo. I've got Shutdown selected, so I'm just going to press the Enter key to shut down the computer. Desk Secure Death. Now that the computer is back up and running, we're going to use the same technique to restart the computer. Again, I put my focus onto the desktop using Windows D as in desktop, and then I'm going to use Alt F4 to shut down or restart the computer. I'm going to hold down the Alt key and tap F4. Shut down Windows dialog closes all apps and turns off the PC. What do you want the computer to do? Combo box shut down collapsed Alt plus W. We've opened the same dialog box from before. The first place it puts us is in the combo box. It's currently set to shut down. I'm going to use the down arrow to choose restart. Restart. And again, at this point, I can either tab until I find the OK button and then tap the space bar to activate it. Or I could press the enter key because my OK button is the default button. This time we're going to use the tab key to find OK. OK button. There it is. And I'm going to tap the space bar to restart the computer. Desktop. Now that the computer is back up and we have our Windows Magnifier and NVDA screen reader running, we're going to look at another method to shut down or restart the computer. For this method, we're going to press the Windows key to open the Start menu. Start window. Search window. Search box edit blank. When we first open the Start menu, it puts us into the Search edit box. I'm going to tab one time. Start list. Toggle start navigation menu items collapsed activate to show or hide labels. All right, it puts me into what's called the start list. This is where I'm going to find the power options in the start menu. To do that, we're going to down arrow through this list. User account for training. Places list. Pictures 2 of 3. Settings 3 of 3. Power. There's the power options. I'm going to press enter. Sleep 1 of 3. It opens a menu with three items. The first option selected is sleep. I'm going to down arrow to find shutdown. Shut down two of three. And then press the enter key. Start secure death. Now that the computer is back on, we're going to use the same start menu power options to restart the computer. To do that, I'm going to tap the Windows key to open the start menu. Start window. Search window. Search box edit blank. Tab one time. Start list. 
Toggle Start Navigation Menu Items Collapsed Activate to Show or Hide Labels. Down Arrow to Power. User Account for Training. Places List. Pictures 2 of 3. Settings 3 of 3. Power. Press the Enter key. Sleep 1 of 3. Down Arrow to Find Restart. Shut Down 2 of 3. Restart 3 of 3. And press the Enter key. Start. Secure Desktop. Now that our computer's back up, we're going to look at another method for shutting down or restarting the computer. This next method involves using the Start Context menu or the Administrator menu in Windows. We can open that menu a couple of ways. If we focus on the Start button by starting on the desktop and then using the Tab key, Start button. We can use the Application key to open the Context menu, or you could even right-click on the Start icon in the lower left corner. I press the application key here. Desktop D. We have a context menu that opens with some administrator settings for the computer. I'm going to hit escape to close this menu for now. Taskbar. Let's go back to the desktop with Windows D. Folder view list. VLC media player 11 of 11. So you can access that start context menu either by focusing on the start button and then pressing the application key or shift F10. Or you can right click on the start button with the mouse. Another way we can access that menu, and my preferred method, is to use Windows X. I'm going to hold the Windows key and tap the letter X. Context menu. Now that we have our Windows context or administrator menu open, we can use the down arrow to find shutdown or sign out. Apps and features F. Power options O. Event viewer V. System Y. Device manager M. Network connections W. Disk Management K, Computer Management G, Windows PowerShell I, Windows PowerShell, Admin, A, Task Manager T, Settings N, File Explorer E, Search S, Run R, Shut Down or Sign Out Submenu U. We found the Shut Down or Sign Out Submenu. We also heard the letter U after it read to us the item that we're on. As we go through the menu, we're hearing letters after each item, and visually we have those same letters underlined on each of our items. What those letters tell us is that once we open this menu, instead of having to down arrow or up arrow to find the item that we're looking for, we can just press that letter on the keyboard. This time I used the down arrow to find the shut down or sign out submenu, but I could have much more easily just tapped the letter U to activate this same item. Once we open this submenu by pressing the Enter key, Sign out I. We have a list of a couple of options, the first one on this computer being Sign Out. I can then down arrow to find Sleep S. Sleep. Shut down U. Shut down. Notice that the letter U is spoken after shut down. It's also underlined. Restart R. And then finally we have Restart, the shortcut letter for Restart being R. So I could press Enter on either Shut Down or Restart, but my preferred method is to use those shortcut letters to make this process a lot quicker. So what we can do is hold down the Windows key and tap the X to open this context menu, tap the U to activate the shutdown or sign out submenu, and then either tap the letter U to shut down or R to restart. I'm going to demonstrate that now using the shutdown command. I'm going to press escape to close this context menu. Shut down or sign out submenu U. Escape again. I'm going to put myself back on the desktop with Windows D. VLC Media Player List Item Focus Selected 11 of 11. So instead of using Windows X and then using the down arrow to navigate through that context menu all the way down to shut down or sign out, I'm going to hold down the Windows and tap the letter X. Context Menu. I'm then going to tap the letter U for shut down or sign out. Sign out I. And then I'm going to tap the letter U again for shut down. Sec So we just use the keyboard shortcut, Windows X, and then U, U, to shut down the computer. Next, we're going to use the same technique, but use Windows X, U, R, to restart the computer. I'm going to hold down Windows and tap the letter X. Context menu. Then tap the letter U to find shut down and sign out. Sign out I. And then tap the letter R to restart. Sec So now we've looked at three options for how to shut down or restart the computer 
using the keyboard. To recap, method one, we can use Windows D to put our focus onto the desktop, and then we can use Alt F4 to open the Shutdown Windows dialog box. Shutdown Windows dialog closes all apps and turns off the PC. What do you want the computer to do? Combo box shutdown collapsed Alt plus W. Once the Shutdown Windows dialog box is open, you can use the up or down arrow to choose Shutdown or Restart, and then either press the Enter key to activate the OK button, or Tab until you find OK button, and then press the space bar to activate it. I'm going to press Escape to cancel the shutdown. Desktop list. VLC Media Player 11 of 11. That puts us back onto the desktop. The next method we looked at for shutting down or restarting the computer using the keyboard is to open the Start menu using either the Windows key or by clicking the Start icon in the lower left corner. Start window. Search window. Search box edit blank. Then press the Tab key one time. Start list. Toggle Start navigation menu items collapsed activate to show or hide labels. And then use the down arrow to find power. User account for places list. Pictures 2 of 3. Settings 3 of power. Once you find power, press enter. Sleep 1 of 3. And then use the down arrow to find either shut down. Shut down 2 of 3. Or restart. Restart 3 of 3. And then press the enter key. I'm going to cancel this by pressing escape. Start list. Power. And escape one more time to close the start menu. Desktop list. VLC Media Player 11 of 11. The third method we looked at for shutting down or restarting the computer using the keyboard is to open the Windows Context menu or the Administrator menu using Windows X. Context menu. And then either down arrowing or using the letter U to open the Shutdown or Sign Out submenu. Sign Out I. And then either down arrow to find Shutdown or Restart or tap the letter U or the letter R. So that would be Windows X, U, U to shut down, or Windows X, U, R to restart. Again, we're going to cancel this by pressing the Escape key. Shut down or sign out sub-menu U. And then Escape again to close the context menu. Desktop list. VLC Media Player 11 of 11. And that's how you shut down or restart the Windows 10 computer using the keyboard. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.